Nobody is above the law. You better stay in your lane. Tosuka wandi komie. Ebigambo bino the chief justice Owinyi Doro. Bine bigambo yebiogera nga sinkanye abamu kuba judge mu kungana be bali. Waliwo ekisera executive we ali ABC we dino koma. Ngitanse okuyingira sige damuzi. Ngitanse no kola ebi sige damuzi we dino kola. Twachira bako Prime Minister Nabanja we yazimu le bitagiro bya koti na agenda na bako beagamba ne bajemera okusala okwa koti okwali kukoleddwa Chief Justice Chinono te chamu isabulunji era mulukunga no luno yavayo na amulabula na alabula na executive yonna oba abantu bonna alina okubeeranga aiso lugayo mu koti kubanga koti yetaputa amateeka Tutelo bida ba wano nemu parliament inga wa speaker baisa olugayu mkisali guwa ocha koti. Mm. Uh, Oweni dolo kwa ya sinzi lakumi. Na agama no one is above the law and you should not always cross your lane. Mumanyi we muko ma mureka mateka gakore and judges you are not them gods. You should do according to the law, not according to other to others' wishes. If you make me happy, if you satisfy me by your performance, it'll be faster for you to reach the Supreme Court than it was before. Many of you think because you're a grade one, you'll retire when you are senior grade one or principal. <laughs> I am telling you, there's already precedent. Justices Karokora, many of you do not know, and Cosma Kato began at lower than grade one. One of them started as an interpreter what they used to call itapota, corrupted to itapota. Then became a clerk, then became a grade three, after Nsam is in Entebbe now, here, here. Then became grade two, went to Makerere University, did a degree in law, went to law center and became a grade one, chief magistrate, high court judge, and served as Supreme Court, retired before they die. Both have passed on. They did it. You can also do it. If you have your focus, if you know where you are in the judiciary, each one of you can make it. It is not beyond your reach. I would be very happy if the powers were mine. Each time there is an advert, a sizable, a meaningfully, discernibly sizable number of recruits must come from the judiciary. If the powers were mine, that's what I would do. But please work hard, learn, consult, enhance the number of certificates you have, because the future is before you, and the future is good. You seize the moment, you seize the tide, the rest, as they say, will be history. Then you count on the God you pray every day, and uh, you find yourself up there. Once you expand the Court of Appeal, it means you have to deplete the high court of the resources. It means Justice Musta Sekana should not be in the high court anymore. Justice uh, John Hughes Keterima should not be in the high court anymore. He should be in the appellate court. So who is going to replace them? You. Then you have this displacement 
factor or vector, whatever it is, I forget my senior one mathematics, there is the, what they call this, this one something. I leave, somebody takes over. Somebody takes over from that somebody until it reaches you. So this is, it used not to be there when we had nine judges, 12 judges, with no court of appeal. But the opportunities are there for you. So, please, access to justice has got two ingredients. If you get it right, then I don't have to speak about it ever again. First of all, we must create stations where the people seeking justice will know if I walk to Makerere, I'll get a court of law. If I walk to Nakawa, for those of us who do not have bicycles or motor cars or border borders, if I walk to Nakawa and wake up early, there'll be a judicial officer. That's the first ingredient, that there is a court of law, a court building within reach with a judicial officer in it. That I have called the hardware, the access to justice hardware, is to litter the countryside with courts of law, court buildings, and stations where judicial officers are deployed. But the more important, and get this clear, the more important, actually the one that really matters, is the software. And the software are the people I am talking to now, as I am, as the principal judge is, as the chief registrar is, as the executive director is. We are the software for the access of justice. You can have a court building every 100 meters of the villages of Uganda. That's the hardware. It's like each of you can be given a laptop. I think, I think they've distributed you laptops. I don't remember. But imagine, imagine that your laptop, you just open it, touch some button. You wait four minutes for it to open, just to open. You have to wait four minutes. And then when it has kindly opened, you now want a function. You touch and you wait another six minutes. Not seconds, but minutes. And so forth and so forth, because you begin real actual work. It has taken you 13 or 15 minutes. Do you really have a laptop? <laughs> Can you boast to say, look, I am now in the fourth industrial revolution where you touch a button and miracles happen. You touch another button, there are a series of miracles happening. Similarly, for these court stations where we have deployed you, those stations which I call the hardware, If the software is not effective, we have not afforded our people any access to justice at all. We have actually given them empty hope, false hope, that there is a court of law. When the judicial officer comes to court, when or she likes, comes at 10, comes at 11, when the hearing notice says court will start at 9, the judicial officer comes at 11. That is a defective laptop. A laptop with defective software. You can be hungry, you can even hit it against the wall. Who the judicial officer is in court and becomes a demigod. Judicial officers are not demigods. You are what justice is, yes, but you're not a demigod. 
you must be in charge of your court. You must be in control of your court. But you don't have to be nasty. Be firm. Let nobody take away the charge of the court from you. Nobody. If the chief justice of Uganda or the principal judge walks into, or the president of Uganda walks into your courtroom when you are having a hearing, you've not seen the president, you've not seen the chief justice at all. Continue until you are, you are done. Because nobody is above the law. You're exercising law. The rendering of justice is the highest form of ensuring the rule of law prevails. The avion no, obi wuri de. Ya geza ko streamlining a siga, damu zino kuri teka, mumbera enunga mu ere nambulu kuf. Tuwele ngana fea, abantu abo wansi, oba abo guli jo, sobola okwe nyumiza, musiga, etamiz. Amanye nze isensho waka, atela inze, amata, agatafa. Olina biotunda, saloni, akedi, oba business yon na jokola, wandi agadoku funda wa customer, ohomu kisa guguno, langa na isensho media Uganda, kwa social media handles a fezo na. Business yo jikuba abantu maso majimanye. Kobisale ya bitono ndara. Mwele za kalango ko. Tukaise mo video za fezo ndazi tuteka kumikutu jafen. Ofuna maguba mo yotu nda ambagida wo. Okumanye visinga wo. Mwele zo waka kwa tisapu. Zero musambu munana. Asatu muemu asatu muemu. Mbili zero musambu. Oba. Tugobele kumikutu jafen yonda. Okumanye visinga wo.